I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. Something that's somewhat uh, uncommon that we do, that we do here, um, really just the uh, maybe larger rebuilding shops that I've seen um, do this. And, uh, and it's, a, it's a really fun um, rebuilding process. So, so this, is, this is from an 18, 1870s um, upright. So this is the base bridge. And you can see not only is, is the cap all torn up, those, crack, those cracks that run right through the, where the pins go, those are not supposed to be there. But also this part here called the apron, that's, that's got a pretty bad crack in it that pretty much goes all the way across, close to it. And then here, that's all cracked up as well as all along there. So it's just, it's just in bad condition. So instead of, instead of just replacing the bridge cap like we've done in a lot of these, um, my son Ben here has, has uh, done a complete replacement. He used pin block material, which is just the super, super tough. It's, it's several plies of, uh, of super hard rock maple. So actually, you just, uh, you just clamped it up, but I think we can still get a, get a feel for it. So he, he duplicated the, uh, the design here of, what, of the way they have this cantilever with the apron. So there's just one solid piece of, of pin block. Here's a support beam that I'll take off later. So that's just under there, and, and now he's going to start filing the other side, and he, and he made a little piece of veneer here just to protect it. And you've got to get the height just right as well. So a few benchmarks of a, of a really excellent job. Well, one, the height has to be just right. I'll show you how he got the height correct here in just a minute. Another one, as you can see, this line here where the where the bridge curves or, or kind of comes down bisects all the holes. So that's actually more difficult than it than it probably looks. So halfway, half of the hole is up on this plane, and then half of the half of the hole is down. So when the string comes across, it's uh, this is the true termination point of the of the vibrating string. Otherwise, if it's, if it's not bisecting, then, then you have kind of two termination points. You have the pin itself, and then you have the, uh, the edge of the, of the base bridge cap. But when it's bisected, you just have that, that, that hole at a very precise point. Let me say that the holes are even more bisected than they were originally in the factory from 1870, which is, which is also super cool. And let's, let's look at this, I like this. This doesn't really matter, but I just really like how this is, it's almost like a CNC machine did this, this edge. It's just a beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Same with, same with this around here. And then the other thing that I'll say before we go check out the piano, how we got the height right, is that, uh, this material that he's using is going to be way stronger than this material simply because it's so many more plies of that uh, of that maple so what what he has he has down here is the bridge or is the is the pin block which is similar to this that's all pin block material and then from here up that's the bridge capping material which is even more plies um, and even even harder than than the, than the pin block. So great work. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and let's go check out this. Yeah. So uh, so what we do? This is where the, of course the where it came from. He stretches these these little carpet threads across and, and measures exactly with the cantilever the, the bridge actually comes down here 
so so he he determines the correct height um, so that there's a little bit of down bearing. So you don't want it. You don't want negative down bearing, which would bring it down further. That would be too low. You don't want too much down bearing. That would cause lots of problems elsewhere. With with base base um, bridge, you want either zero down bearing so that it comes up and it's just barely touching, or you want a slight amount of down bearing. What he decided to do, which is fine with me, he did it on a on his last piano. He gave it a little bit more down bearing than there was previously in it, and the last piano that he did where he duplicated it, it just sounds amazing. It just sustains forever. Um, so I said, yeah, go ahead and give it a little bit more down bearing. I, I like that. So there you have it, bass bridge capping.